All right. Okay. Well, when I when I moved to Nashville, uh, I just wasn't into music. I just wanted to sing. And then literally, I just went into the Bluebird and realized I was so naive. I didn't know every artist didn't write their own song. That's just kind of how much I didn't know about the music business. So when I moved here, I went to the Bluebird with two cover songs and put my, you know, grabbed my little number out of the hat for the open mic night and I bolted before they called my name because I realized very quickly that all those people had written the songs they they sang and they all, I was I was amazed because they were so they were such great songs and so I went home that I remember going home to our apartment that night wrote wrote a song it was funny it was terrible you know looking back but then I went back to the Bluebird and sang it and honestly from then on it was just an immediate love addiction haven't put a pen down since for about 10 years I mean it was just it was like I just got the bug and then I got a deal a year later uh, with Buddy Killen and just just was writing like a fool uh, Buddy signed me to a deal didn't pay me a lot but gave me a room and just listened to my stuff and uh, just was kind of a mentor to me, he also said, I remember, I remember a year after I had been, uh, you know, I had just got my pub deal and I walked in with like a billion sheets of paper and just one after other, just read, read the lyrics and played them for Buddy. And he told me something that broke my heart um, because I was so excited. I had written a hundred songs and he, and he said, your first a hundred songs won't matter to you, you know, in like a couple of years. And at that point, I remember getting in the car and being like, oh. God, like it's, it felt like somebody had hit me in the gut, and and the wind was knocked out of me because I had slaved, you know, over those those hundred th songs, and I thought there were some really good gems, but now I couldn't tell you one song uh, that was in that batch. But it was a good lesson, and and uh, uh, and uh, kept, you know, it kind of it kind of asked me, hey, do you, do you want this bad enough to to write another hundred, you know, and see what they're like. Shoot, I mean, I don't know if this is just pertaining to, you know, songwriting, but I think it's really like m more to more to life. Uh, my dad had always taught me this, but I didn't really like learn it until I until I found songwriting. And when I found songwriting, I found something that I love the process of. I, I love it no matter what. You know, no, no matter what comes out of it, I just absolutely love a blank sheet of paper and nothing, and then and then an idea, and then puzzling it together. And I think to be a songwriter in this town, I mean, some people probably have a gift and they just come in here and just vomit out mega hits, you know, and they don't really practice. I, that, I, I think that's probably doesn't happen as much as p people are probably like me, where you have to get up and and write and i and you you got to just love the process and eventually you know the market's going to going to catch up to us but in the meantime or even if it never does to be a songwriter you just you just got to absolutely have a, a a serious affair with the with the craft of songwriting you know just want to wake up every day and write